Hey guys, what's up? Time to review Blood Strike number 28. I know this review is kind of late, as will a few more be. But, uh, kind of weird way to say that. A few more will be late. <laughs> but, uh, they'll be up, I promise. But, uh, Blood Strike number 28, uh, of course, it focuses on Cabot returning, his experiences with the mummy people, and the return of his brother. And, uh, pretty much the majority of the book. Uh, this book, ever since it returned, I've been feeling the same way about it. On one hand, it's been way better than I thought it would be. It hasn't been amazing, but I didn't think it'd be very good at all. Uh, it's... Every week I read it, I was kind of honestly think, why do I buy this? But then I read it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's why I do like it. So it's a very odd feeling with this book. Uh, same in this issue, kind of... It's a great example of that as... There are parts of the issue that I love to death, parts that I hated, and parts that I think were just stupid. So it's kind of hard to review because it's a pretty simple story that has elements that hint at a bigger story. Uh, such as in talking about the new Bloodstrike team being a product. They talk about uh, kind of the religious... Uh, the uh, actions of religious terrorists, and they talk about a lot of stuff that if they expand on in this book, could be amazing. They don't really do a lot here. A lot of this is very heavy-handed, just kind of shoved information at you. And part of the time it works, part of the time it doesn't. Uh, so it's very odd overall. Overall, I'm going to give, keep this a pretty short review and give Bloodstrike number 28 a 6.5 out of 10. I, I think it's good, and if you've been liking the series, you'll enjoy it, but it's nowhere near the best since its return, and even though I have to believe it's the third issue since its return. Uh, but it's not terrible by any means. It is good. It's just not... I expected more even from this book. So yeah, Bloodstrike number 28, 6.5 out of 10.